Hi, welcome to my nation and to the 10 tips to flying with kids and staying alive vlog. I think the tips are really good for all flights, but especially for longer flights, which are obviously harder and more challenging. We live in New York. Both my husband's and my family live really far away, like 12 hours flight each direction, and we've been doing it a few times a year. So we got to be really experts uh, by now. Actually, I, I did it a few times with the kids by myself. So I prepared a few tips for you to make your flight easier. Okay, so tip number one, it's a very important tip, night flights. I would say if it's a flight longer than six to eight hours, take a night flight, it's a lifesaver. You want the kids to be asleep for as long as you can during the flight. Remember, night flights. Okay, so tip number two, it's the carry-on bags and the kids bag that go with you on the plane. It's really, really important because you want it to be as organized as possible because it's probably everything you would need during the flight. So I organize it in an order that I know I would need the thing so I can just reach and grab whatever I need. If it's dark, if I have literally only two fingers available because the baby is on me. Another thing about the bags is you want to have extra of everything but not too much. Just the right amount if they pee, poop, or throw up, but not too much that it would be too heavy for you. I'm gonna write down the list for everything I put in my bags and all of them. If you need the list, just head on to my vlog and you have everything there. Tip number three, your absolute best friend for the flight, the tablet. And you wanna have the tablet really prepared. So you wanna download movies, TV shows they love, new games, everything to keep them occupied for the longest time without moving, sitting down. If you have YouTube Red, it lets you download anything you want from YouTube and watch it when you're offline. So one more thing I love with the tablet, earphones. I love it, you see? Here are the little phones. I can actually demonstrate since I have the smallest head in the world for a grown-up actually keeps their ears warm here are the phones and if they want to fall asleep it's actually really really comfy and it doesn't get in the way it just folds like this back in the bag and it's the absolute best for flight number four super important you this is almost all I take for myself. It's this little mummy bag that I take with me with all the essentials. So I'll show you real quick what I have inside. I have this, I think, um, a toothbrush and a toothpaste, hand sanitizer, mouthwash, Advils and Tylenols, just a few, just a case, eye cream. I don't really wear makeup when I go on flights, but sometimes at the end of it, I really, really need to look like a human being. So all I bring is blush and a little brush that doesn't take a lot of space and a concealer, and that's it. It just, I put a little bit on and I feel like I look like a living person. And the best thing, so you know how you get those samples at the store? I keep them for my flights. Your face gets so dry from the AC in the plane. Mine, anyway. So I just put it on and I throw it away and it's really, really easy. I also have this tiny Glossier um, perfume. That's it. Number five, crafts and fun stuff. So um, depending on the length of the flight, you know, if the kids slept or not, I don't put all my money on the tablet. I always also get another bag and it's really, really light. And I'll show you what I have inside. I'm gonna post the list of everything in my vlog. So quickly, I'll just show, show you. I have a bag of Play-Doh. This little game I got at Flying Tiger. I make a little bag of crayons, a little bag of stickers, and this little pad for my artist to express herself during the flight. For me, it's really important to act <laughs> like we're having a lot of fun on the flight. Since we're doing it so much, I want them to have a really good experience. So these really help you kill time and have fun on the flight. Number six, my little first aid bag. I never go without my first aid little bag. I have everything I need in it in case anybody feels 
bad, but again, not too much. Hopefully you won't need to use it ever, but you want to have it just to feel safe. For me personally, feeling like I'm well prepared, I feel much more confident and relaxed and it's better for everybody. Seven, a carrier. Another must, must, must have if you have a baby is a carrier. It allows you to use your hands. Even if you're not using the carrier as much on the flight, on the way to the flight, during the flight, when you're leaving the airplane, putting the baby in the carrier and having your hands to carry the bags or do stuff, it's everything. Number eight. I always take this with me. Flying is never comfortable. So flying with kids is even less comfortable. So I always remember to bring this one and ask the flight attendant for more pillows if it's possible. Number nine, inflatable pillow. Life-saving hack I just recently started using and it's a completely different experience. An inflatable pillow, which is you know, when it's deflated, it's this small. It goes right between your kid's seat and the seat that in front of him. So actually when he wants to sleep, he can lay down and sleep much longer. It doesn't weigh much, it's really cheap, and it's really easy to inflate. So the other thing I bought to make my life even easier is this inflating thing. It's working on batteries. It's inflating the pillow in seconds. I'm gonna link this thing as well. Number 10, a bassinet. Um, if you have a baby that is 12 months and younger, don't forget when you book the ticket, ask for a bassinet for the baby to sleep in. Every airline is different, but definitely try and get a bassinet. It's so much better than having the baby on your lap the entire flight. Trust me, I tried. That's it. Ah! Look, I know how stressful it could be flying with kids, especially if it's a long flight. So I really hope this was helpful for you and help you feel and be more prepared and then more relaxed. And remember, the more relaxed you will be, the more relaxed your kids will be. So good luck. I hope you get tons of sleep, travel safe, and have fun. And I'm really waiting to hear from you guys, so please comment on the vlog or the Coronation Instagram page or Facebook page. I really want to know if this really helped you. And I will see you on my next vlog. Bye. Enjoy your trip. And if you want to blow dry, I mean, who doesn't blow dry on a plane? You gotta have this. So it could be like, so it could be like, got it?